What's going on YouTube? Back once again on the porch. Yes, because it's a nice cool evening. The shade from the house has come across the porch. So I've come out of my shed just for a bit of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a nice day today. Um, yeah, not doing a review. Mainly because I was going to, but... I've been studying. <laughs> no, I've been going well into it. Uh, trying to do a little course on video editing. And hopefully I've learned a little bit about how to improve my audio and that. So I'm doing a little test now on a different mic. Um, and using the, the software to try and even it out. But we'll see. It might be rough because I have got a couple things that I need coming. They'll be in the post tomorrow. So. But yeah, so I'm not doing a review because of that, basically. But what I am doing is a 300 subs celebration. finally got here can you believe it man it was bumping up and down on that like between 290 and 300 for ages like within that section i any other section of 10 subs you know this one has been the one where i've i've gained and lost the most subscribers like for ages it'd be like i'd gain one lose two Gain two, lose one. Gain five, lose ten. <laughs> well, no, it was never that bad, but, you know. Yeah, it was, it was starting to drive me up the wall a little bit. Cause like I said, I've got an obsession of rounding numbers off. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's just one of my little quirks, I guess. But yeah, so we are celebrating 300 subscribers. And, you know, thank you. You know? So a lot of people look at it and it's like 300 subscribers, that's nothing. But to me, it's huge. I never thought I'd get this far. I never thought anyone would watch videos, period. So I'm assuming there's a lot more Maddens out there like me than I took, than I, uh, took for granted, I guess. Is that all right? Took for granted, no. You know what I mean, because you are a Madden as well. <laughs> Problem mad, mate. So, yeah, I was going to review Artisan's SP Blue, but I, I'll do it. Don't worry. Just gives me a little bit more time to, uh, you know, test it out. Seems like there's a bit of mixed views on it. But I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to keep it for the video when I review it, but today, I have no idea whether you want to watch all that or watch this or whatever, but mainly for my own experimentation, we are trying out the old American dip. Yeah, because we don't get none of this stuff in the UK, and I've seen so much of it on YouTube and that. I know it's not the greatest thing for you, but I'm not going to pick it up as a habit, man, because where I bought this from, um, in in the UK, it was like 15 quid a can. 15 quid for one can. Like, that's a bit too pricey for me. But as it was, I ordered one can just because I wanted to experience it. it. They mucked it up didn't come in my order the other stuff did but this didn't and then they blanked my emails when i kept asking about it and when they finally picked up the emails and spoke to me they sent me out three cans instead so i got it for a fiver a can which meant i got to send a can to me old mate rich <laughs> and we both did a tester bump uh the other night so i have had one dip out of it so far so Let's see if this one goes a bit better. 
I couldn't get a spittoon, so I done the right English thing and used the sandcastle bucket. <laughs> I don't know why, that just seems typical. Everybody in England has got one of these in their shed. And they always end up becoming a little bin or... And you never ever take them with you when you go to the beach again. You just go to the beach and spend like 15 quid rebuying it all. So, anyway. Let's see how this goes. Got the... Packy tinny bit. That was probably a bit much, but... Come on, man. Pulled the lid off funny then. Right. So, you know, it's a metal can. It's kind of like, do you know what it's like? It's, it's almost identical, probably a little coarser, but almost identical to like NS, um, NTUS. And the taxis and... Yeah, it's that kind of grind. Maybe a little bit thicker. There's a few longer bits in it. But, um, yeah, it's dark and super moist. Um, the smell is... Uh, I think it smells lovely myself. I, I, I've become enamoured with wintergreen. At first, I really couldn't get my head around it because I kept, like I said before, I kept thinking of, like, you know, um, medicated stuff, but, yeah, it smells, it smells like a sweet wintergreen, yeah, I really like the smell, so, let's get down to the old business end of the stick, shall we, see if I can get this done, so, they say, tap it down, sweep it round. The video I watched was, flick out the fingers. <laughs> and then take a, a pinch. I think that is probably a bit of a big pinch for me. But we'll give it a go. And then, try and get it in the front of your lip. Mm. I've balls that up. But it tastes damn good. This is probably where the problem's going to be because the mic is right by the spittoon. So I'll try him. <laughs> right, there you go. It makes me salivate like God knows what. But it don't taste too bad. It's, um, it's, 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 again, it's that, it tastes winter greeny. It tastes winter greeny and, but it's got kind of like a sweet, but there's also a sort of saltiness to it. But it's definitely very sweet. Now it's getting packed down, I'm getting some sort of control over it. It's not too bad. I 
I'm assuming that part of it is I'm spitting so much because I'm uh, new to it. But I think if the spitting settled down just a little bit, it um won't be so bad for me. But then again, having said that, I am a bit of a drooler. No? Like, I have to work quite hard to make sure I don't dribble down my pipe when I smoke it. But it seems to be slowing down a little bit now. It's not bad, man. I can see why, why people like the taste. It's like, um, yeah, it's wintergreen, kind of salty, but sweet. I think my salivating slowing down a little bit now. Um, nah, I reckon it's all right. Burn. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit more than the old tingle that you get from snooze. And I feel like I'm losing control of it a bit. Like it's starting to sort of want to spread down the back here. Which is really hard to get it back up there. I'm sure I've got bloaters galore. Because I keep fucking with it. Yeah. Now I'm getting it all over my tongue, so stop fucking with it. I don't know, it's kind of gross, but it is kind of nice at the same time. Flavours all right. Nicotine's there, but it's not like it's fucking, it's not mind-blowing nicotine. It's not making me ill or anything like that. I don't know. I thought it would be a bit worse, to be honest. I think my main problem I got is that when I'm talking, I'm having trouble keeping it all packed together in one place. I feel like I've got two lumps, one at the back here now, one at the front. That made it worse. And now it's stinging like hell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it would catch on with me too much. Then again, I suppose I could see myself doing it once in a while. Like, if a mate came out with something, I'd go, yeah, fuck it, give me a dip, you know? I couldn't see it becoming my um, primary nicotine source. Not much more else I could say about it, really. I probably just did a terrible job of using it. <laughs> So, 300 subs. I'm real grateful. I'm real grateful. More than I think you lot can ever, ever appreciate. You know, when I first started this channel, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Like, you go back to that first video I did of me sat on this porch. And I literally sat here, recorded that video, and I had no idea how I was going to upload it. 
it was just like go on there and see. I mean, it's not that hard, but I hope you can appreciate that how little I knew about any of this. I've I've learned it all on the go. I mean, I had no official training of many kind. I just kind of winged it. Watched YouTube videos and learnt bits and bobs. So I think I'm going to invest in a little course thing that I see. It's not like a proper course. It's not like open university stuff or anything. It's just like a 14 day boot camp type thing. And I'm hoping the most I'm hoping to get from it is uh, about audio, really. Because I think quality audio is the thing that I fail at the most. That and silly jokes. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've got no idea what time it is because I can't see the timer anymore. Because uh, I've changed the camera and that. So, I think I'd better cut this short in case it's going on too long. It's probably not entertaining, but it was more of a just say thank you. Because when I started this video, man, I was a bit down and depressed and I felt isolated. Some of it because of my past and what trying to move on from that past, what it entails, you know? You leave your life behind. You you cut off your old associates. And um, I've met some people through, you know, doing this channel that I truly, really do appreciate. You know? I'm always chatting on my messenger with people now and it amazes me that, like, I get to chat with people on the other side of the country, on the other side, well, on the other side of the country, yeah, but also on the other side of the globe. <laughs> and, you know, I am humbled by it. And I am thankful that you all want to sit and listen to me jabber on. So, I don't know, without rambling on, I'm going to leave it there. So, 300 subs. Thank you. New subscribers, thank you. And, uh, I'm going to leave it there. So, there'll be a review either tomorrow or the next day. I'll make it up. But for now, I'm going to say remember to tap, pinch, and toot. Because there's three ingredients to your enjoyment. And your enjoyment is all I got for you. So, remember to come back to the porch. And until then, I shall bid you farewell. Now I can spit this shit out. Yeah, can't see it catching on.